Hello, my name's Linda. I'm a UK independent stepping up demonstrator making a wiper card today. It's going to be an A6 normal size card when we're finished. So we're starting with a piece of thick basic white cardstock. This is an A4 and we're going to do some cutting and some scoring. We're going to start by having our A4 cardstock in landscape and we want to cut at 23 centimetres. We can put that piece to one side. Then we're going to turn it to portrait and we're going to cut this at 14.5 centimetres. And then we're going to turn it back to, port, um, to landscape. So we've ended up with a piece of cardstock at 23 centimetres by 14.5. And we're going to do some scoring. So I want to score at 8 centimetres. and then four centimetres. And then we're going to turn this back round to portrait and we're going to go to four centimetres and then we're going to cut. So we've ended up with two pieces of cardstock. So this is going to be the back and this is going to be the front of our card. We're now going to do some um, burnishing. So we want to fold on the largest piece, we're going to fold the, the innermost score line as a valley fold, and then the other one as a mountain. So it's going to be like this. And then the other piece, the score lines are going to go at the other side of the card. So the first one is going to be a valley. second one a mountain. And then the card goes together like this. This piece is going to go on this side and this piece goes on this side. So it opens and shuts like so. And we're going to have our wiper mechanism inside there. So before we do anything else, we're going to start decorating. To decorate my card, I'm going to be using the Berry Blessings design series paper. And this is from the Celebration at the moment. And I have cut these so they have got um, quite a large border all the way around. So um, going by your preference, you could cut these different sizes if you wish. So for the sizes, at the back I have 14 centimetres by 9.5 and then I have two strips here and these are 3 by 9.5 and then at the front I have some different paper here. This is um, the back of the raspberries and I'm going to put this at the front again with quite a large border. Um, that's 14 by 3 centimetres and these two are 3 by 3 centimetres. I'm just going to stick these all down. Okay, so I've decorated these pieces very simply and as you see it's going to go together like this. So I'm going to start by gluing this piece to this piece here. I'm going to use some wet glue and I'm going to put my glue on here. And I know how um, far I can go up because I'm laying this next to it so I can see that I need to be below this length and I don't want to go over my score line. I'm just going to lay this down and stick that on. You want to make sure that this is straight to your table and you need to make sure that you do not put any glue on this side because you don't want it to stick to there. To make the wiper, you need another piece of card. Now I've cut this um, six and a half by 2.5 centimetres and I've covered, I've just covered one side of it so it just sort of blends into the background a bit but it, it may actually be completely covered by your image depending on what you're going to put there. So we need, the first thing we need to do is make a edge. So we're going to need to fold this corner because I want this to be facing out, I'm going to turn this over. 
and what we need to do is to fold across here. I'm just going to use a ruler and my um, bun folder, although you could actually do this just with your fingers. And I'm going to fold that back. So this is what we have. We have a piece of card with the corner bent over like so. Quite simple. I'm going to bring um, our card base in and we want to turn this right over like this. So we're going to be working on the back. This square, just put a cross in it. That is where our glue is going to go. So when we fold this back, that is going to be glued there. So you don't want anything to go on that square. And this is our wiper mechanism and we want to put that in this square. Okay, just try to zoom that in. So our corner piece, that is where we're going to put our glue. And that needs to, so the tip of the corner needs to go on this score line. So it's finishing about here. And the other tip needs to be underneath, so below the cut line. And we're going to just be gluing that piece so it folds over. So I'm going to put some glue on here. So I've rubbed over this with my bun folder and I've left it to dry for about 30 seconds. So this is it so far. So what we now need to do is put some glue on here. I've put a couple of strips of double sided tape. I've put a couple of strips of double sided tape here which I'm going to peel off and then I'm putting some wet glue in the middle. So just keep the glue in this square and then we can just fold this like so and then fold this over and that should be in the perfect position. So when we open it, turn it around the right way, there we go, then our wiper pops up. So now we're going to put some decoration on the front of the card. So you can decorate this however you want. I'm actually making mine into a Valentine's card. So I've cut out some hearts from the Stitch to Be Mine. I've used some more of the Design Series paper and I've put some white cardstock on the back just so if you do happen to look at the back you just see some pretty white card. I'm going to have my hearts sort of positioned at the front so they're covering the front. I've cut um, um, a die here. This is from the Stitch So Sweetly and I've stamped all my in there. And then when we stick that down and open it up, this one pops up. I've got another heart in white. I've stamped love and I'm going to put love on there. So I'm going to start just by sticking my heart down. So when you put your image on here, when you close it, some of it might pop out the front. So then you need to put something at the front to cover this up. It could, it could be a square sentiment, something very simple that I'm putting these hearts on today. So my second heart, I've actually put some um, dimensionals on the back. I'm going to pop my sentiment across both my hearts and because I've popped this one, this heart up, I've put um, a dimension on that side and just glue on this side. And I'm going to pop that across like so. And then I've finished. 
and I've just popped a strawberry there that I've cut out of one of the design series papers. There you go. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video for the wiper card. Um, it's not as tricky as it looks and it is quite an effective card as well. Um, you can use this for any occasion, birthdays, anniversaries, if you have images that you'd like to be popping up there, they look great as well. Just need to make sure that they're going to be covered when the card is closed. So celebration is coming to the end, end of February. So um, spend £45 from any of the catalogues, any of the Stampin' Up! catalogues and you get to choose one of the free items in this small brochure. It's also the perfect time to join Stampin' Up! if you're thinking of joining and you'd like to join with me. Uh, just please get in touch, go to my Facebook, uh, put a comment on the video. Um, not only do you pay £99 for £130 worth of product, which is normal for joining, but also in celebration you get some free items. So you get um, some free 6x6 papers and here's some pictures of what you'll get. And I think you get five packs. Thanks for watching. Bye.